All right, what's up, everybody? It's Nick Atkin here with Sports Kida MMA. I'm in Tokyo, Japan. It's 1 165 tonight. Ongla is here to corner his good friend, his teammate yep. Martin Nguyen, and he's got some news he's going to share with us, some big news. But first of all, Ongla, good to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing well, man. Everything is great. You know, Martin looks sharp. I'm excited for his fight. You know, it's like, it's going to be a great one. I, I promise you, it's going to be an exciting one. You just had some last minute prep yeah. here, some training on these mats behind us. How's yeah. Martin looking? He's moving fast. His, hand, his hands are like dynamite. And on the ground, he's doing, you know, he, he's, he, he's, he's going to be able to shut down every scenario, every attempt that uh, Gary makes. We know what Gary's going to try and do, right? And uh, yeah. it's just up yeah. to you Yeah, he's going to try to take him down. He's going to try to do, you know, like even, even in the takedowns, he'll pull sometimes to get into his position, his leg entanglement positions. And we're going to shut all that down. And he's going to start, he's going to start standing first for sure. He's going to start standing. He's going to start long. He's going to start, you know, moving. But uh, we have a great game plan for him, you know, and I, I'm sure he has a great game plan for us. So it's going to be a fun one to watch, and we're here to get that win, get that finish. I guess you've had experience of a fight like this, a matchup, your personal rivalry. No, I've never had anything like this. <laughs> I've never had anything like this where I'm like game planning against what they're game planning against me. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you, you're right, for sure, for sure. We, we, we had Renier, you know, who's a grappler, more of a grappler. And, you know, we had issues with that, so trying to fix it. Yeah, and well, let's talk about that because you've been gone since May. It was your last yeah. fight in Denver. I saw yeah. you after that fight, and you told yeah. me after that fight, after you beat uh, Van Rong, that yeah. you had a contract. Yep, I'm and on a contract. You were in negotiations. It's, yep. I know it's taken a long time, yep. but here we are. What's the news? Are you back? Yeah, we're back. Uh, I have great news. You know, we're back. Uh, uh, we're back, and both parties are going to be happy, you know. I'm, I'm going to be happy. Chatri and one championship is going to be happy, you know, and we're going to bang out some good, exciting fights, you know, and I can promise you that uh, I have nothing on my mind except the title. So everybody's on the way. Uh, I'm going to take them down and I'm going to put them out. So you've re-signed with one championship. Yes. Uh, so in short, yes, I have re-signed with one championship and I should be back in action um, probably in, you know, a couple months maybe, you know, in a few months, but I've put in my contract that I will be staying active at least three fights in the next 12 months. Wow. So how long, can you share how long the contract is? Uh, it's a, it's a six fight contract, okay. you know, the regular six fight contract. So this is your last run in MMA, you would say 38 years of age, if I got that right. Yeah. I mean, you never know, you know, I feel healthy right now. I feel strong in training. You know, I'm, 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 I'm stronger than I've ever been, you know, in, in, uh, I feel good physically. I feel good. You know, I, I rest a little bit more, but I, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, two hours of training is nothing for me, you know? Well, so. I'm excited to see you back. Yeah. It's been sad without you here. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, some, you are the, the one of the need, OGs of world yeah, championships. We need some you banger fights, you know, we need some banger fights, some exciting fights that, and that's all. That's all I bring. You know, I'm not gonna say I'm the best at it, you know this and that, but but I can guarantee you every time I fight, I fight for the finish and I fight to to make the fans happy. You know, I'm a big MMA fan before I became a fighter. You know, in in like 2003, I was a big MMA fan before I became a fighter. So as a fighter, I want to make put on exciting fights and I want to make the fans happy. You know, they need to get their money's worth, right? Well, you always make the fans happy, yeah. especially in Asia. The reactions you get are always the biggest on the card. Even yeah. in Bangkok, I think you got bigger yeah. cheers than Rod Tang and Stamp. You bring out the fans as well. Yeah. Do you want to fight in the U.S. though? You also got yeah, pretty big sure. pop there. I, for sure, I'll fight in the U.S. For sure, I'll fight in the U.S. And but prior to the U.S. card, I'll probably fight in Asia. We don't know where the card's going to be, but I'm going to fight in Asia, U.S., and then probably back in Asia. Hopefully in Japan. You know, the next Japanese card. Is it that man Derrida, though, you're gunning for? We, we know he's got a middleweight title yeah. fight in Qatar with yeah. Anatoly Malkin. Yeah, that... that's exciting. Huh? Anatoly is going to be challenging for the belt. Um, I don't really care, but I do want to. I, I do want to fight uh, all the middleweights. You know, I'm known as a gatekeeper, but uh, keep beating all the yeah for sure. It's guys. time for me. You know, it's time <laughs> for me to step it up and make my title run. Uh, whoever's at the top, you know, we'll, we'll go at it. You know, 
I have nothing but respect for both men. You know, I I like them. You know, I like uh, Anatoly. You know, he, he's a great guy, and he's working hard for his family. So, you know, but but at the end of the day, that's what we're gunning for. That's what we're working towards. You know, and I'm sure if, if that happens, we're going to have exciting matchups, anyways. You know, you think you can knock out Anatoly? Uh, I, I I I believe. You know, I believe I can knock out anybody in the world with four ounce gloves. I believe you can knock out Derrida then, I guess. <laughs> I, I believe <laughs> I can knock out any man with a four ounce glove. I mean, he's confident. He told me once, you know, when you were fighting, I think, the, the first or second time, that there's nothing you could ever do to beat him. Yeah, you, we'll, you, we'll see. I, I, we'll, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. You know? I know you've been working on yeah. that jujitsu. Yeah, for sure. Like, if I train only one day a week in jujitsu, of course, my jujitsu is going to be lacking, you know. But I guarantee you, my jujitsu is not going to be lacking next time. So, do you think he's still going to be the champ though when you get to the belt next? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be an interesting one, you know. But when you, um, and it totally hits like a truck, you know. And you you you've seen how long he was knocked out for, how long he was knocked out for. It's a scary one. Yeah, <laughs> and and that's still going to be in his head. Guarantee you that, you know. But you can be you can be arrogant, you can be ignorant, but the truth is the truth, you know. You were knocked out like for a long time by that guy, and you're gonna fight that guy again. It's gonna be in your head. Well, we've seen Rainier dipping into the jujitsu here, the grappling in one as well. Any interest from you in ever trying another sport here, another martial art, the Muay Thai, or the kickboxing? kickboxing yeah. Maybe we'll see. You know, let me let me do this run first. This is gonna be a fun run. Not the grappling, though. Uh, no, 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 no <laughs> I, I don't care. You know, but but I, I do want. You know, I want I want a fun run, and then you know we'll see after that. Yeah, I think. I mean, personally, I'm happy to see you resign. I think you are the heart and soul of one, and yeah. I think you should have a job for life there. Would you like to go into commentary or you know behind the scenes role when Maybe. you finish fighting? If they'll have me, you know, I would love to do that because uh, this sport is what I have. You know, all my passion and my life work in it. You know, so it would be nice to be able to work for them. Um, but it's up to them, you know. It's up to them. I'm, uh, uh, I do have a job, you know, at Killcliff as well, to be their coach there, you know, to help coach mm. the younger fighters as well. So, I mean, the yeah. possibilities are endless, you know. I remember texting you a few years ago. Yeah. I think you were just starting out your, your coaching, or I asked you, would you like to be a coach one day? You said, yeah, sure. And now you have an official role with Killcliff. I mean, I don't, but I, it's like. Unofficial. <laughs> Unofficially <laughs> official. Okay. You know, so Henry says, you can always come work for me, you know, when you're done fighting. So. Well, I, knew, I know you love Florida and being around there. Yeah, so yeah. I don't think, yeah, you'll be relocating. No, we never Asia. know. We never know. You know, for sure, for sure, for sure. Like, for a fact, like, I'm going to go back and live in Myanmar one day. Yeah. You know, and that's the fact. You know, it's like, just because of the political situation right now, it's not so good. Like eventually, like I will go back home. Yeah, I know you still have a lot of fans there who love you and they're gonna want to know this news. Do you have a message yeah. for everyone there, A, about your yeah. resigning and just everything, the situation? Yeah, so, you know, I, I thank you guys all for all the love and support. You know, I could, you know, one championship, yes, I know. Um, Whatever you do in life, like for the Myanmar people, uh, be honest, you know, work hard, have integrity, and, and I guarantee you, your life will be worth living, you know? And and I'm excited, you know, I'm excited, you know, for this new chapter where we're gonna go after the belt again. And I just wanna thank you for all your endless support, you know, keep supporting me. We're gonna come out with a bang this year. Thank you guys. You heard it here yeah. first. Ong Lan Sang has re-signed with one championship. Let's go. The former champ champ. He's looking Let's to get go. that belt again. Ong Lan, thank you. Yep, it's always, been, uh, Nick. It's a pleasure, right? It's a pleasure to catch up every right. time. And thank you for sharing yeah. this news with me. And Sports Kida. Sports Kida, let's go. <laughs> let's go, all right.